Hey, how's it going guys? This is going to be a real quick video to show you how to get your dead zone compensation set. This is very important whenever setting up your mouse and keyboard settings, as this essentially controls the, uh, the minimum uh, thumbstick value that your mouse will send out whenever you're trying to make small precise movements. So if you notice here, my small hand movements are being ignored. This is because my dead zone is set too low in my mouse and keyboard settings. If you see, as I move my hand a little bit faster, I get some response, but again, my small movements are being ignored. So what we'll do to find our in-game dead zone, because what the in-game settings here say, uh, let me navigate over to them. This is at a point one. Um, that value doesn't actually translate to anything that we use for our mouse and keyboard settings. So we need to figure out what our dead zone value is on our uh, mouse and keyboard setting. So right now it's set at 1. 1 is too low, so I'm going to raise this up until my very small hand movements register movement in game and actually allow my character to work slow. So the X and Y, I want this to be the same. And you also have a dead zone shape here. Since I'm playing Call of Duty, I'm using the Call of Duty Dead Zone shape, but you also have ellipse and rectangle. Um, you can look up online what shape of the Dead Zone that most of the games use. So if you're ever wondering, just look up the game and then type in Dead Zone shape and you'll get some information. So I'm gonna bump this up from one to 10 just to see how it feels. Eight, nine, Come on, go over to 10. I'm going to type it in. Alright. So now, what that means is the smallest movement that the Zen will see will output as 10% on the thumbstick. So that's a little bit better, but it still feels like my, uh, my small movements are being ignored. And like I have to move my hand a little bit too much to uh, to get it to move. Like if I try to change direction real quick, it feels kind of like there's like a weird small delay. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how to explain it any better other than it's kind of like clunky and like weird and not responsive enough. But like once you get it going, it feels fine. But doing stuff like changing directions or trying to look real slow, um, it's not working out so well. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump up my uh, my dead zone a couple more. So let's try uh, 16. So I'm going to enter 16, finalize my settings. Okay, so now I'm getting movement, but it feels choppy. Like the very small movements feel like it's um, you know, kind of like bumping and like skipping across the screen instead of moving slow. It's responsive, it feels okay whenever I'm looking fast, but my slow movements, like if I were trying to snipe somebody and line a headshot up here, like I'm having a real hard time getting my crosshair exactly where I want it to go. So this is telling me that my dead zone is now too high. So let's back it off a little bit. Um, I'm going to try 12. And 12, let's finalize. Let's give the mouse a little wiggle. Oh yeah, that feels way better. I don't know if y'all are able to tell on the screen here, but I'm able to get my crosshair to go exactly where I want it to. I'm going right here in between the, uh, the holes in the fence precise movements feel very great. I'm really happy with 12. Alright, so in that amount of time I've gone from a completely untuned profile to finding a dead zone that fits, you know, my, my play style. This feels really good, so I really hope this video has helped you. 
as always, leave any questions down in the comments section below. And uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to view more of my videos.